How's it going, Two Way Gang? I'm Rizzo, and today we're going to talk about uh, how to use your AR-15. Um, the first couple of videos of this series, we went over uh, the parts, um, the controls, and how to use them. So now we're actually going to go over uh, how to shoot. We're going to go over how to load it, unload it, and get it ready to fire. Uh, first, of course, we'll go over the firearm safety rules. Uh, treat all guns as if they're loaded all the time. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Uh, never point your gun and always put your gun in a safe direction and know your target and what's beyond. And also, I will also tell you again, um, read your manual. Read your manual about your particular gun so it tells you uh, how to shoot your particular weapon. Most of them are built the same controls in the same general location, general area, but there may be little differences and nuances that you need to know about. So. Read your manual before you shoot. All right, let's get started. All right, so first being the safe firearm handles that we are, we are going to check to see if this thing is clear. All right, so uh, clear. Um, with the AR-15, the round in the chamber will be in here. Uh, you may not be able to see it because of the housing, but once we hit the charging handle, it will open. So um, if we... Um, First thing we want to do is drop our magazine. I always want to get rid of the source of ammunition first. So we'll get rid of the magazine. So now what we're going to do is pull back on the charging handle. And if there's a round inside, it'll, you know, come out. Bam, look at that. So clear. But being the safe firearm handles that we are, we want to go check and make sure that there isn't a round in the chamber. So what we're going to do is pull back on the charging handle. Uh, press in on our uh, bolt catch release and we're going to look inside and verify that there is not a round in the chamber <clears throat> all right so that's kind of what you always uh, want to do uh, first as soon as you pick up the gun uh, clear it make sure there's no uh, no ammunition inside the gun to begin with okay Another way to lock the bolt open is if you have an empty magazine in the gun and you pull back on the charging handle, it'll lock open. Alright, so uh, just different ways to kind of get you to lock it open. But remember, we took the magazine out to <laughs> make sure it was clear. But if there's an empty magazine in the gun and you pull back the charging handle, it will lock open. Alright, so next let's talk about the safety. Um, safety is usually going to be right here <clears throat> on your AR uh, right behind the, uh, right above the grip and most of them are going to have two positions you're going to have safe straight ahead fire is going to be up and down so um, right now we're making sure it's clear so we're just going to put it on safe all right clear it out make sure it's safe now we know that the gun is uh, safe it's clear um, at this point in the future video here we'll take it apart, but today we're going to show you how to load it up and shoot this building. All right, let's get started. So loading the magazine is uh, pretty simple. If you see here on um, inside, it has a follower, just like in your uh, handgun, and you can see the shape, almost kind of shaped like the round flat end back here, the uh, pointed end up there, and all you need to do is. When you're loading your magazine, just from the top, just going to push down. Yep. And you don't have to load it like a handgun. Most people come in from the front above the, the lip here. All you have to do is just push it in. I like to push it in and give it a nice little push, but that's all you have to do with your AR-15 is just push it in. Now, I will admit, I still like to sometimes come in from the front just makes it easy for me sometimes but you do not have to do that you can just push from the top and it'll go in push it all the way in so if you want to load it like a handgun you can but all you got to do is just push straight down for your magazine all right so you can see uh, they're in there uh, staggered <laughs> staggered pattern they're in there so all your ammo um, is in now most people will not um, Let's say if it's a 30 round, this is like a 20 because we can't use 30s on YouTube. But most people just try not to fill it to capacity because sometimes 
um, when loading the magazine, if it's full and the uh, bolt is closed, it makes it a harder for it to seat. So, uh, but I just say, uh, know your magazines and how they work in your particular rifle, whether or not you want to uh, load them to capacity. Uh, I usually haven't had a problem yet, but we'll see. I got, got a lot of mags, probably haven't went through all of them. So, uh, but yeah, let's load the magazine. Now we are ready to load the magazine. I'm going to take my AR-15 and point it in a safe direction with my shooting hand. With my non shooting hand, I'm going to take my magazine, I'm going to set it inside and give it a hit and a pull. So you want to make sure that your magazine is seated. So give it a hit, give it a little pull to kind of make sure it's in there. You don't want to be shooting and <laughs> your magazine falls out. So yeah, give it a hit, give it a pull, make sure that thing is in there. Also, I should have said it before, make sure it's on safe. Start off and say, you want to put it on fire until you're ready to fire. So, safety is there for a reason. Put it on safe, load your magazine, make sure you're good. Now, the magazine is loaded in the magazine. So, what we're going to do to get a round in the chamber, we're just going to push the bolt catch release button here. And that is going to load a round in the chamber. All right, so it's, it's one in the chamber. Now, now if it was, um, <clears throat> Would have been closed, we would have used the charging handle. So let's say, uh, well, let's drop our magazine. Let's get rid of that round that's in there. All right, so if we load it with the uh, bolt closed, and remember, this is why a lot of people don't like to pull them up to capacity. So you still do the same thing, put it in, pull it down, and now the charging handle will load around into the magazine so that is how you load your magazine and that's how you get the round loaded in the chamber guess what we ready to shoot so now the gun is loaded and it will fire on if i switch the safety to fire and pull the trigger but let me back up just a little bit is remember i told you guys about the forward assist button so let's say um i noticed that my round wasn't all the way in I would just give the forward assist a little push to make sure it's in there but remember what I told you you want probably would never use this um, if so a couple of times ever and if you find yourself using it a whole lot you probably got a mechanical problem with your gun and you need to go get it checked out guns loaded uh, ready to fire but first uh, we got to make sure we get a proper uh, grip and stance now Stance, um, your feet are still going to be about shoulder width apart. I don't know if you can see them in the video. Um, your support side is going to be slightly forward. And you're going to be leaning slightly forward. So that's kind of how you want your stance to go. Uh, and we'll do another video um, with the full, full body. Yeah, I want to see all that. But yeah, <laughs> your support side slightly in front. Um, butt stock in your shoulder, and you kind of lean it slightly forward. Cheek on the cheek guard there. That's how you're gonna. That's how you're gonna get ready to shoot that thing. So let's talk about the grip. Uh, it's gonna be similar to the handgun grip. You're gonna get your hand up uh, as far as possible on the grip. I'm gonna grab it just like that. Your uh, other thumb is gonna be right about here, right below the safety. And that is going to be your your grip. So you make sure you maintain a good, uh, nice, solid grip on your firearm. Also, you want to when you when you're shooting, keep your elbow down and not out like that. So this is kind of how you wanna how you wanna be shoulder bent. All right. You want to put the butt stock right here. On your shoulder right right outside your pec put it right in there um if you're adjustable you may want to bring it back a little bit to as far as uh what's comfortable uh some people if they have a red dot they may bring it a little closer but being back just kind of gives you a little more control so you're going to put it right right there right up in there all right 
that's how you going that's how you going to get it um, next you want to kind of grip your, your hand guard uh, you can use a foregrip uh, if you have one but uh, grabbing the hand guard is fine so we're going to kind of go here now you're going to start like maybe here low ready position and this is kind of the position you're going to start in um, when you're ready to shoot so your gun's not up here it's down it's pointing down all right now it is time to shoot so what you want to do is just kind of like with a handgun you don't want to move your head around so you want to bring the gun up to eye level you're going to rest your cheek on the butt stock so bring the gun up to your cheek level here and if you're using um, sights you can use your sights so but that's kind of what you want to do is bring the gun up to you and you're not moving your head around trying to find everything you just kind of right there alright that's it uh, let's talk about the sights uh, if you got iron sights uh, like I said they flip up most of them be aperture style uh, if you look at like the rear sight rear sight would be something like that and this one has a a bigger little eye hole to peep through kind of get you that quicker um, and some uh, will have a smaller hole those are like usually for precision shooting and your front sight will be that's your front sight which you line up right there so that's uh, how your sights have been like I said most of them will be flip up sights uh, you can just push the button and flip them up or flip them down so that's your sights for your AR-15 uh, we're ready to shoot so, did I say that before? <laughs> so we're coming from the got our stands together got our good grip coming from low ready we're going to raise it up look through either our sights or our uh, dot bring it up for low ready bring it up to our level I'm going to grab the foregrip uh, we're just going to flip it up amb uh, ambidextrous one so I can kind of flip my safety on that end flip it up to fire and press the trigger bang good job we just learned how to fire an AR-15 <laughs> man we rocking and rolling I'm telling you we've uh, fired a couple of rounds down range what do you do now well uh, if uh, it's the last round in the magazine um, your bolt will lock open you can either uh, load a magazine and keep shooting or you can unload and we can be done for the day so what we're going to do is we're going to Let's see, bang, we stop. Gonna put it in safe. Well, can't put it in safe yet because I still got a round in. So we are going to eject our magazine. I'm going to empty a round out, verify that it's clear, close it up. Put it on safe we are done all right all right so let's do a uh, a quick review so to after we check and make sure that it is clear make sure everything's clear we load a magazine if it's open you just push the bolt catch release if not you load around with the charging handle going to get our stance support side slightly forward butt stock resting right on the shoulder of your shooting hand arms all the way extended start from low ready we're going to bring the gun up to eye level bring it up to your cheek we're going to move it to fire we're going to take our shot when we're done gonna go back to what well, <clears throat> if it's empty let's pretend as if we have fired our last shot is empty all right put it on safe and yeah, we're done so uh, that is how to load unload and shoot <laughs> an AR-15 I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, 
let me know in the comments like subscribe um, let me know what other kind of videos you want to see about the AR-15. We're going over the fundamentals. Um, and then uh, we'll go over some other things. Uh, once we get through the handgun AR fundamentals, we'll start getting into some fun stuff. So right now, we're just going through the fundamentals for the new shooters. So when they come to the channel, they have something to watch. So um, we'll talk to you guys later. Until then, stay safe. Shoot straight. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video on AR Fundamentals. I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can go through and look at other videos or playlists on the channel, see what you see. Uh, we know YouTube and other social media sites don't like uh, the two-way, so if you can kind of beat the two-way algorithm by liking and subscribing, not just to my channel, but anybody else that does uh, gun videos on YouTube. Uh, so like, subscribe, <laughs> tell me that you like it, get some comments. Let me know if you did like it. Let me know if you think I can do anything better. Whatever it is, just, just stay tuned. Got more stuff coming. Anything I can do to improve my channel, let me know. Until then, stay safe, shoot straight. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.